What is up, everybody? Bob Vieira, Universal Short Sales. Today, I'm going to share very, very briefly with you guys how to find failed short sale listings using PropStream. Now, quick synopsis, this is an awesome way, a niche way to find more deals, okay? To find people that are behind on their mortgage payments, maybe they're in pre-foreclosure, whatever the case is, typically these leads are mortgage delinquent because at one time they were looking to do a short sale and for whatever reason, that short sale failed. The realtor had it listed on the market, the short sale failed, nobody's calling these people and you could jump in, get these leads and uh, build up a nice little pipeline for yourself. Now, important to remember, no matter what market you're in, you know, this may not be a good fit for you because I'm going to show you how to look these leads up on PropStream. You could go into your market and literally find zero leads or maybe only find a couple of failed short sale listing leads. So it's a super niche way and it's not for everybody. But look, if you're across multiple markets, if you're a virtual wholesaler, maybe you do lease options, options virtually in several markets, you know, um, it could add up and this could be a good way for you to find deals. So let's hop into PropStream here. I'm sharing it with you guys. We're going to use Cook County, Illinois, our example. So we'll go to Cook County right here. All right, pulled it up. We're going to go to filters. You're going to go to MLS right here. And you're going to type in, where are we? Where are we? Okay, you don't want, first off, on the market, no, right? Obviously, we don't want to contact people that are currently listed on the market. That defeats the purpose. So you want to click no on the market. And then for MLS status, you click failed, all right? So not on the market, failed listing. You're going to go to keyword search. You're going to click short sale, not short sales, not short sailed not short sold, short sale, plural, very important. All right. So right now you could jump off. You see, there's about 543 um, potential leads that fit this description. Now, 543 sounds great, but, but we're going to want to refine that even more. Now, this next part I'm going to show you is completely at your own discretion, but I'm just going to show you what I do. So we're going to go to Back to MLS status, all right? Okay, we're going to double check we have everything good. Go down to ownership info, and then you want to do the last sale date. Now, this is crucial because a lot of times public... Re now, remember, PropStream pulls all their stuff from MLS and public record. A lot of times public records, they take a while to be accurate and to update their system. So... I personally made this mistake. I was looking up failed short sale listings and um, I wasn't putting in the last sale date. And what was happening was it was giving me old data. So I was actually calling up people that were the new owners, the people that bought the short sale, the buyers that bought it. And now they own the property outright. It's no longer a short sale. It's the wrong owner data and it just gets messy. So in order to avoid that, you go to last sale date. And then we're going to do um, any sale up to, let's do a year. So we'll go to 2021 and then we'll go to, uh, we'll go to, go to the beginning of 2021. Go to January 1st. All right. So any sale date up until this point. Um, works. We don't want anything that was bought after. And then as you could see, you know, it knocked it by about a hundred or so, uh, maybe a little less than a hundred um, leads. So you're at 470, which is still decent. Now, you know, using Cook County as an example, right now you have 470 to call. It's not a ton, but remember, remember your list here, guys, they're going to be small. You're not pulling vacant properties where there's a shit ton of them. You're not pulling, you know, absentee owner lists where there's tons of those too. This is a very specific niche lead source. But the cool thing about it is, you know, you we're a hundred percent certain that at one time these 470 people 
listed on the market with a real estate agent. They were behind on their mortgage. Okay, number one. Number two, they were upside down. So these 470 people at one point were behind on their mortgage, upside down, and they were trying to get rid of their property via short sale. We know it for a fact. So it's a short list of people, but it's a very, um, you should have a very high conversion rate, okay? Because you're literally calling 470, in this case, mated sellers. So we'll just open one up here to give you an idea of what it looks like. See that? There you go. You'll see it was failed. It was um, listed just recently, actually, in July. Status failed. Price, 123K. And you go to the description right here. Needs TLC, short sale lender approval required. So a lead like this is absolutely perfect. It's something you're looking at, you know, something you're looking to prospect. So then, you know, I won't go into it uh, too much in detail, but you want to, you know, click on all the properties, 470 selected, and you just want to create a list. So Cook County short sales, whatever, whatever you want to name it. Skip trace it and boom, prospect to these leads. Uh, it's an awesome list source. I, I personally use this in my business. I absolutely love it. Um, again, this is not a one size fits all. If you happen to be in Cook County or in a market similar to Cook County, big market, lots of people, you know, you're going to get a list that's, you know, in the hundreds, maybe even thousands. If you're in a smaller market that you invest in, you know, you might only get a couple leads here. You might possibly get zero, to be honest with you. It's very possible that you, um, you know, you follow my instructions, pull the failed short sale list, and you could end up with zero leads. So um, again, not a one size fits all, but it's an awesome tool for people that are, you know, if you operate virtually and, and, and you're spread out across a couple markets, because then obviously the leads are going to add up when you're creating your list. Or if you um, operate in a mid-sized to large market, you should be able to pull some. And um, again, it's a highly targeted, it's a very targeted list. It's not something where you're going to get a ton of leads, but the short amount of leads you get um, are going to be highly motivated sellers and very targeted. So um, hope this helps. I would love you guys to uh, go over to my new YouTube channel I created. You can see it across the bottom there. Um, it's just simply universal short sales. Click the subscribe button for me. Go over there, click the subscribe button. I'm always giving away little tidbits like this. Um, and then I also talk a lot about pre-foreclosure, short sale leads, um, how, to, how to generate these leads, tips when you're speaking with these leads, um, I do what's called the University of Short Sales segment every Friday. I post it on Facebook and my YouTube channel. It's always out there. And then I also talk a lot, which is very relevant right now, about distressed real estate news. So whenever there's breaking news or important statistics that I feel need to be talked about for investors to understand in the distress space, you know, I post a um, clip on my YouTube. So hope to see you guys over there. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of me on Justin's channel here. Uh, hope this helps and we'll talk to everybody soon. Have a great day.